Test game. No. No, is he? <clears throat> the problem I saw in potential was that when we sprayed on the dynamic grass, we didn't spray into this clearing because I wanted this clearing free for a small encampment or a camp or a cabin or something. Something of interest to the player. Those roots are encroaching into it and showing off the lines. Um, this path looks nice. Coming down the path, it's going into some darkness cast from the trees. I have not included any dynamic lights in this scene, so what you have here is standard ambience. Um, walking down the path, it's nice. There's, um, the dynamic grass is doing its job. And this is the other problem I foresaw. There's nothing here to have this guy. It's just straight out roots, which, not looking as bad as a, a plain old trunk circle, is still quite um, obvious. Um, and as mentioned before, the trick is to make people not notice things in your scene. If it looks normal and natural, you've done your job right. But this looks a lot more populated, a lot more going on here than when it was completely flat and empty. <clears throat> the next step, the next layer in building the scene, um, after I've moved those trees, is to introduce a lower level of vegetation bushes, shrubs, things like that. Oh, hello. Actually, that looks nice. Um, as you can see, the root was grown from the tree. At some point in its past, there was soil here, so the root grew. And then at some point later, the soil got washed away or moved, resulting in a tree hook, a tree limb, which is now buried into the floor over here. This is nice. I've seen that in nature. I'm keeping that. Um, oh, and another one over here. Haha, ha, that's I clever. <laughs> um, hmm, yep, okay. So, the first thing I'll do is deal with this. I don't want these trees encroaching into the clearing. Um, I could expand the dynamic grass, or I could move the trees. I think I will expand the dynamic grass, which will allow me to show you the in-game editor. The in-game editor is a limited function editor in real time. I say limited function because you don't have the full power of your main editor, but you can perform tweaks. This is accessed by pressing F9 on your keyboard, thusly. Your life and ammo HUD disappears, and your build tools appear at the top of the screen. You don't have your mouse pointer to click on them. Instead, you must use the keyboard shortcuts provided and listed. T for terrain mod, E for entity mod. One, two, three, four, five are your terrain shaping tools. Six, seven, eight, and nine, and zero are your terrain painting tools. Um, you can also control camera with the left and right square bracket and exit by pressing F9. The things I've not mentioned though. Which are, uh, such as the lock G, but I want to cover those separately. Um, of course, you have your receptacles as plus and minus. Um, okay, so I've run away from my trees. I'm going to go back to them now. What I want to do is paint more dynamic grass to help hide the lines on the limbs. Now, according to my top menu, that is now the zero key. So if I press zero, I can paint more dynamic grass into the scene. I don't get the bright luminescence because this is real-time editing. As you can see, the grass is appearing under my receptacle live. Um, I can increase the size of the receptacle um, and by holding the left mouse button down, I can just spray more grass onto my scene until I have what I want. Like that. Similarly, if I make a mistake and go blah, I can hold down the shift and Deselect that grass. Can lower the side of the receptacle and get it off the side of the mountain. I don't want it there. It doesn't look right. 
But that solved that little problem. And because it's done in real time, you can s make sure it's as you like and how you want it to be seen. And I like that. As for this other guy, uh, I can't paint grass on him because that's my clearing. I think I will hide those roots with more entities of the the buildings I'm going to place here at a later date. So I'm going to leave him for now, and I'm going to come back to him later when we're exploring the the man-made structures in the entities menu. For now. I want to concentrate on the natural things, such as the trees and bushes. So I will exit the play view by pressing escape. And I will find a good sized shrub which will fit into the scene to match the trees and the terrain. To do this, I go to the Entities menu, Add New Entity. Under the Foliage tab, which was still here, I now need to find something that I like in this scene. Um, bush. Well, I want a non-animating one for now. I want to add animating bushes and flowers in later. So, if I find plant. No, I want to know what that looks like. So, I'll click that and press OK. Or I can double click. Bring, now, that's a nice little small thing. See, that could nestle right there. But when they nestle in there, it just helps break things up even more. There's no roots or anything, so you just want it flush to the floor. Like that. And it just adds a touch of something else to your scene, to break it up slightly. Now, you can, if you want to, press I and spray these all over your forest. Oh, okay. I pressed forward instead of backwards then, so I tried to drill my way into the floor, which it didn't like. Um, I can't see the wood for the trees. Press G, top down view. Decrease the size of the receptacle. Something I should mention here is the spray tool will spray X number of trees or X number of entities within your receptacle. So if you have a huge receptacle like this, X won't change. It'll still try and spray that many things. If you have a smaller receptacle, it's still that many things over a smaller area. It will always recycle things it sprayed, even on a different run. So this one can get moved away. That one can get recycled, but it won't affect the trees you've placed down because it's a separate entity. Okay? Now, Having spread a bunch of um, plant threes around the forest, you have to then do exactly as you did with the trees and edit. Because, as I said, while it's okay to spray and pray, it doesn't make for a good scene if they start cutting into things like trees and mountains and places where they wouldn't grow. So if you press E, oh sorry, press I to deactivate spray, and then T to remove that from your cursor, and E to go back into entity mode, you can start deleting things that don't belong. Either individually by clicking and then deleting, or collectively by clicking and holding in an empty space, dragging a square over several, and then deleting at once. It's whichever method you found preferable and is easiest for you.